video, you have seen everything about Nutrition OS and its features on Pocophone F1 and it allows me to compare with the stock ROM, the MIUI. So in this video, I will be comparing the MIUI 10 versus the Nutrition OS. Before starting this video guys, please subscribe to this channel and click on bell button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Also I have made a lot of videos comparing these custom ROMs with MIUI. To watch other videos, check the links in the description down below. The MIUI and Nitrogen OS are two different incarnations of Android. MIUI is an OEM made ROM which in fact known as a stock ROM in this context. When you buy a Pocophone F1, this is the ROM or more specifically called the operating system which is pre-installed by Xiaomi as a default ROM. MIUI is known to provide a tons of features which lets the user to customize everything. Xiaomi regularly provides its support for MIUI by adding in new features or fixing the bugs and making the user experience better for each update. Thanks to Xiaomi, they have also released a kernel source of the Pocophone F1 to the public which led developers to start putting custom ROM for Pocophone F1. Now today we are having a lot of ROMs available for Pocophone F1 out of which the Nitrogen OS is the one which gained a huge popularity after Lineage OS and Pixel ROM on XDA. This ROM provides a stock Android experience which is a super fast and currently more reliable and stable than any other custom ROMs. If you want to know more about the Nitrogen OS and its features, you can watch that video by clicking on this card here. That being said, some people like MIUI and some of them like to use stock Android and their Poco, so I decided to compare a MIUI 10 with Nitrogen OS and everything you need to know. So watch the video till to the end to find out and decide at which ROM is better for you. As usual, let's start first with the benchmark results. I ran a benchmarking apps like the Geekbench and Intuitu on both of these phones to see which ROM scores better in real-world usage. So these are the scores which I got on my Pocophone F1. I want to say one thing here, the scores are sometimes higher or lower on your Pocophone F1. In this particular case of scenario, the Nitrogen OS Geekbench score is higher than the MIUI. On the latter, the MIUI score on Intuitu is higher than the Nitrogen OS. You can see these scores are completely a mismatch. Eventually, after running a multiple times, I have noticed the scores which I got and my Poco of one are random. Overall, all you need to know that this score doesn't affect your performance. Moving on to the performance round. In this round, as always, I try to run some heavy graphic intensive applications and both of these phones to see which ROM outperforms over other. Keep in mind the apps which I use in this video are some of them are internet based. Also to make this round comparatively fair, I will be using a built-in navigation gestures on both of these ROMs. Wow, MIUI 10 finished this run first in 1 minute 43 seconds and kept all of the applications in memory and completed in 2 minutes 7 seconds. On the latter, Nitrogen OS finished this run in 1 minute 52 seconds and completed overall round in 2 minute 10 seconds. So I decided to rerun this test again but this time with no system animations. Surprisingly, at this time Nitrogen OS finished up first in 1 minute 42 seconds and kept all of the applications in memory and completed first in 2 minute 2 seconds. On the latter, the MIUI finished in 1 minute 42 seconds. Unfortunately, MIUI had to reload the Agent Dash application again and completed the round in 2 minute 29 seconds. That being said, it's a tie. Both ROMs did actually perform better, I cannot say at which one wins the battle. Also let me know your opinions in the comments down below. Moving on to the battery life. As per my testing, the battery life which I get on both of these ROMs are pretty good. When you compare a Nitrogen OS with MIUI, you will definitely notice a difference. According to my usage, I get a whole day of battery life on Nitrogen OS with a fair usage, and my screen on time is 8 plus hours. On MIUI, I get a 6 plus hours of screen on time as per my usage, while playing games on MIUI, the battery drains are quicker than Nitrogen OS. I have also told in my Nitrogen OS video that battery life you will get on it is stupendous. To be precise, I have played a PUBG on both of these ROMs for 40 minutes at ultra high settings. The amount of the battery discharged with Nitrogen OS is around a 280 mAh on hour basis, which theoretically means you can play PUBG at ultra high setting for up to 6 plus hours with a full of charge. 
On the latter MIUI, it is used around a 360 plus milliamps per hour. So I can conclude the Nitrogen OS provides a better battery life for me over MIUI. Keep in mind the usage which I get on my Pocophone F1 will not be the same for all. At the end of the day, the battery life will be different for individual based on the usage. Finally, let's talk about the downsides of both of these ROMs. Let's start first with the low signals. When it comes to cellular data, MIUI 10 is pretty good than Nitrogen OS. On Nitrogen OS, rarely you may experience a low signal quality issues, which affects your data speed especially if you are using a dual SIM card. Next up, fast charging. I can say Nitrogen OS is far ahead than MIUI when it comes to fast charging. The maximum amount of fast charging input current on Nitrogen OS can be around a 2900 mAh. Next up, the Face ID and Camera. The Face ID on MIUI is a kinda impressive and it's a lot better than the Nitrogen OS. Most of the custom ROMs have an option called Smart Lock which in turn uses the IR cameras for scanning your face. When it's compared to MIUI, Face Unlock is not secured. Next up, gaming. In fact, in the last video, I have told you guys that Nitrogen OS is better in playing games when it compared to a MIUI. Next up, UPI applications. Unfortunately, I have rooted a Nitrogen OS and UPI dependent apps like the Google Play seems to be not working on my end. So if anyone have tried a UPI apps on Nitrogen OS, let me know in the comments down below. Next up, the navigation gestures. Both ROM supports a navigation system gestures which helps quickly jump between applications without using the standard software keys. But I would say the MIUI system gestures are more reliable than Nitrogen OS. That being said, if in case I have missed anything, you can ask me in the comments down below or drop your comments on my Facebook page. So the bottom line of this video, I can say the both ROMs are reliable and stable, but if you are planning to ditch MIUI and move on to stock Android experience, the Nitrogen OS is better choice as your daily driver. If any one of you wanted to see a step-by-step -step tutorial of installing Nitrogen OS on Pocophone F1, hit the like button down there. Also if you want to see more comparison videos, comment down below. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider clicking on bell button. That's it guys, thanks for watching, this is Case Girl. I will catch you in my next video, bye bye now.